the syllabus talks in personal and public transport about layout of fiberglass and construction of glass fibre epoxy. It talks in aeronautical about the layout and um, production of carbon fibre. The fiberglass, I'm describing the hand layout method. The carbon fibre, I'm describing the vacuum layout method that I mentioned in the syllabus. So let's go through one at a time. Fiberglass, they're very similar processes. They both have a mould, they both have a release agent that stops the epoxy from sticking to the mould, which is very critical. Um, the difference is in what happens after that. Fiberglass, we um, lay uh, chopped fibres or glass fibres woven in a mat or chopped up on the surface, mixed in with epoxy or separate. Then you put epoxy on either via spray gun. If it's spray gun, usually there's a chopped up um, fibres inside the spray gun as well. So it's sprayed on or it's rolled on or it's brushed on. But there's an epoxy layer put on the surface that cures, sticks everything together. Once it dries in its own time, about six to eight hours, it's cured. A good example of this is car bumper bars, uh, most commonly these days fiberglass. Either ABS, injection moulded thermoplastic, or fiberglass. Carbon fibre shapes are made using a similar process, epoxy and a mould, but the difference is they use an autoclave. So, They've got pre-impregnated carbon fibre. So here's a woven mat of carbon fibre with um, epoxy already coating everything that's not cured. So it just needs heat and pressure to activate the curing agent to make it solidify. So we just lay the carbon fibre on the mould with the release agent. We put a bit of porous fabric on top of it, which acts as a breather, because we put the whole lot in a bag. The temperature's at around about 170 degrees centigrade, so a silicon rubber bag would work well. Put the bag around the outside and apply a vacuum to the bag. Once the vacuum's on the bag and the uh, carbon fibre is folded down onto the mould, then what you do, is close the furnace door, heat it up to six atmospheres of pressure, which with the vacuum and the heat which activates the epoxy and makes it liquefy first and decreases its viscosity, is the vacuum and the pressure suck all the air bubbles out of the epoxy, which gives a very, very defect-free unit, which is really critical in aircraft because you do not need stress raises. So the autoclave and the vacuum make the carbon fibre epoxy defect free. The carbon fibre, as you know, gives tensile strength. The epoxy gives rigidity and compressive strength. And while I'm at it, in fibreglass, the glass gives tensile strength and stiffness, high rigidity. The um, epoxy, once again, gives an impervious surface so it's waterproof, it's airproof and it gives compressive strength.